Wise Guys Cooking is brought to you by Everson Spice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Frankie. I hear music when I look at you. I like a new Jaguar with all of its class. We're gonna start living. You wait and see. The summer wind came blowing in across the sea. Cause you're lovely with your smile so warm. On the south side of Chicago, in the baddest part of town. Under my skin Strangers in the night Exchanging glances Wondering in the night What were the chances We'd be sharing love Before the night was through Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. In other words, please be true. In other words, in other words, I love you. his soul told me you know a journey of a thousand miles always begins with a broken fan belt and a flat tire <laughs> <laughs> now my dad also told me Frankie you're very unique just like everybody else <laughs> my uncle Rocco he was one of a kind he said if you think nobody cares you're alive he says, try missing a couple of car payments. <laughs> now, Grandpa Nunzio, he was full of advice. He said, Frankie, if at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. <laughs> well, tonight we've got a great lineup. I mean a lineup from the Witness Protection Program. We've got Frankie Cherry Nose Monteforti here tonight. Also, Denny Jelly Legs Pizzini, Tony the Godfather Di Gerlando, Tony Pomponio, and special guest Morris Diamond. Now, a little bit later in the show, we're going to have them bring out some pasta dishes and we're going to vote on the best one. So hang around, we'll be right back. Y'all come back now. Then you're nobody till somebody loves you. <laughs> Well, why don't you tell the people about you and your accordion? 
me and my band, we met in the downtown of Subway. It was like a match. I started out with a small monkey I bring with from me with it from Italy on the boat. But when we got over here, I put the monkey in the front. He don't like the peanuts. He likes the pignoli nuts from Italy. So I cannot afford this monkey. Kalish. So I put him on the boat, I sent him back to Italy, and I got myself a, a case of violin, a violin, a violin, how do you call it? Then? Violin. And I put it on the floor, and the people that put lots of money in there. Salute! <laughs> Really cute. Larry, nobody wants to hear about your monkey. The audience doesn't care about your monkey. <laughs> okay. All right, Tony, tell us about your 10 years in the Chicago subway. Uh, I've been playing for more than 10 years in the same subway station. We're on the first floor. The people, they take the, the train, they call the L. They get out of the L, and they get off of the L. And I'm going to tell you, it's an L down there. <laughs> I guess you got nowhere to go but up, huh? <laughs> How did you start in show business? You know, I look for the American dream. I opened up the first bag pipe discount store in Chicago. <laughs> My wife, she was an angel. She worked a three job. You know where they got the pole and they dance a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> so she helped me a lot. Is she still alive? <laughs> Is our audience still alive? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a dead. <laughs> we were playing some great bad vibe, but disco music, disco, American disco. And just about the time the Downtown Express, the country like this, was flying by, my wife came in the subway station to put some money in my violin, my violin in the case. My wife came to put the money in there, and she sleep. On the summer, shit the music. Shit, 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 you know, shit. She hit the head on the tuba. And my lung, a few weeks later, Fido, dead. I'm going to get this straight. You play disco music on bagpipes? <laughs> no, not anymore. In honor of my beautiful wife, you know, the polar dancer. One disco dance, I finished over. That's when I started playing the cortine. Imagine how you miss your wife. No, I miss my Italian monkey. In the mood for some real Italian today? Then stop by either of our locations in Palm Springs or Palm Desert. Whether you want a handcrafted sandwich from our deli counter or a garden fresh salad for lunch, the real Italian deli is a real find. Choose from our wide variety of hot meals such as lasagna bolognese, eggplant parmesan, and many others you can eat in or take home. We stock a wide variety of cheeses, sauces, pastas, and desserts so decadent you'll think you need a passport to buy them. So stop by today for lunch or let us send you home with dinner for tonight. Okay, let's introduce our first cook, Frankie Cherry Nose Monteforti. Well, Frankie, if you don't mind me asking, how did you come up with the name Cherry Nose? Well, in my old neighborhood back in the day, my wise guy's buddies at least they used to make up stuff to do, nothing to do anyway. So anyway, they said one day, we're going to put, you put 10 cherries in each one of your nostrils. Yeah. And if you can do that, you can make some money. Well, I did it. I got 10 bucks. Unfortunately, the name stuck, which is okay. You hung out with wise guys? Excuse me, you have a problem with that? No. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, before I was interrupted, uh, tonight I have, um, my special, special gift. It's going to be broken leg of lamb. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. No broken leg of lamb. Tonight, what are you cooking up for the judges, Frank? Okay, it's going to be my mama's favorite. God bless her son. It's simple spaghetti and meatballs like no other. That's it. All right. Well, we'll be right back after this next break. What do you think he's going to be doing here? Hey, I want you to meet an old friend of mine. Let's welcome uh, Denny Jelly Lakes Pizzini. Hey, Frankie, how's the 
your face. Uh, uh, my face is fine. You know, uh, <clears throat> uh, you're a great big hit with our audience. Why don't you show uh, them how you got your name, Jelly Legs? Uh, be glad. <laughs> The prison man was swinging and began to wail. The hammers on the ladders on began to swim. As you know, you know, I throw the scarves out to the ladies, you know, and then the ladies, you know, they, they throw their underwear at me. Oh, this is my wife's. Here, here. That's what my wife's. Uh, this is what the ladies throw out, and, you know, it's a good thing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. based on what I've seen, Victoria's Secret's got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Okay, listen, you can catch Jelly Legs at Mama Mia's House of Meatballs on the south side of Chicago every Monday night. And, well, let's go to a short break. We'll be right back, folks. No reasonable offer refused. That's our promise here at J.R. Thomas Golf Cars. Our biggest blowout sale on all pre-owned vehicles. This is a limited time offer. Sale is over in 60 days. My father, Bobby Thomas, opened up electric car distributors in 1960. I joined him in 1977, where I was groomed to run and operate a trusted golf car business. Come in now for our big blowout sale here at J.R. Thomas Golf Cars in Rancho Mirai. As my father always said, take care of your customers or someone else will. Let's have a big warm welcome for Tony, the Godfather Di Gelando. You have problems? I solve your problems. Shoot. Juliana Franco of Cicero, Illinois writes, My boyfriend is 30 years old next week. I would like to give him something very nice for his birthday, if you know what I mean. Godfather, what do you think he would like? Hmm, what do you think he would like? I'll give him my best shot. Never mind what he would like. Give him a cannoli and tell him you're saving yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Our next letter is from Josephine Romano of the West Side. Godfather, is it possible for a man to be in love with two women at the same time? Yes, only if both their husbands are out of town. <laughs> And our final question, Virgil Carmucci of Joliet writes, My wife and I are newlyweds. She sleeps, shall I say, in the buff, if you know what I mean. After she takes a shower, she puts her teeth in, she cooks our breakfast with no clothes on. Hmm, that's not a pretty picture. Well, since we just got married, Godfather, what do you think I should do? What do I think you should do? My advice is tell her to put on an apron when she's cooking the sausages and the bacon. <laughs> we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Frank DeGambliano, and I gained 25 pounds on the Sicilian spaghetti and meatball diet. And you can too. I'm Tony DiGiolando, and I gained 20 pounds. I'm Tony Pomponio, and I gained 35 pounds. I'm Larry Capolato, and I only gained 15 pounds but I cheated once and ate a salad. You eat the spaghetti, you eat the meatballs, you gain the weight. You can look like this in 30 days. Order now and we'll throw in 20 pre-cooked ravioli, a margarita pizza with all your favorite stuff on the top of it, and 10 cannolis. But most important, you're gonna be able to look like this within 30 days. Order now. Sometimes 
everybody falls in love somehow. You know, I, oh, that was loud. I slept like a baby last night. I woke up this morning with a bottle in my mouth. <laughs> yes, I did. Hey, it's Johnny Morris. Love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can make it take my heart, but please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. It's very clear Our love is here to stay In time the Rockies may tumble Gibraltar may crumble They're only made of clay Clay, but, but, clay, but Our love is here to stay We'll be right back. Stay with me. Wise Guys Cooking is brought to you by Everson Spice. Dini Naxos on this episode of You, Me, and Sicily. We're going to do a little bit of home cooking. I'm going to make a little caponata with my friend Vanessa. It's a, such a cool dish. It's sweet, sour, salty. Different regions have different flavors and different ways of making things. Actually, every single household in Sicily has a different way of making caponata. This is a teaspoon in Sicily. <laughs> <laughs> a pinch of this, a pinch of that. Even my grandmother never wrote anything down, so you could never have the same thing twice, that's for sure. Passed down generation to generation. Orally, orally, not by writing, that's for sure. <laughs> and it's so interesting, the foods here in Sicily are such a combination of all the cultures that have been here. All the different occupiers have left their mark, haven't they? Mm. From ancient Greeks all the way up to the Germans during the Second World War. There's something for everybody here now. Okay, enjoy. my friend Vanessa in her kitchen and we're going to make the Sicilian dish caponata that you learned from your grandmother. I just love this dish that you make. Your whole family loves it and I'm so thrilled to be here to be able to make it. Lots of ingredients, Vanessa. Uh, she uh, taught me to how to do that. We, uh, we need uh, um, pomodori, tomatoes, Peperoni, peppers, melanzane, eggplants, um, cipolla, onions, carote, carrots, eh, sedano, celery, eh, basilico, basil, e poi eh, pinoli, uvetta, pine nuts and raisins, and olio d'oliva e aceto. Lino. And of course we need salt, olive oil and vinegar. Yes. Okay, let's get started. In Sicily, caponata is a popular dish originally of Spanish origin. And like all dishes, each household has different recipes, preparation, and ingredients that are all fresh from the local market. Ciao. Buongiorno. Um, My friend Vanessa and I bought all the produce at our local green grocer run by Nerino and his wife Angela. One bread. una cipolla grande for salsa. Yeah, we are choosing the red tomatoes because they are more sweet. Delicious. Vediamo cosa. Sì, grazie. Questo con il con il rabbit. 
Now back to the kitchen. It depends on the, on the tomato. First blanch the tomatoes. It's okay. You put inside the cold water and then uh, when it, it starts to boil, eight minutes. Okay. And put them aside. <laughs> Next, peel the carrots. It takes a lot of work yes. to take all the, that off. Yes. Clean the celery. My granny told me how to clean it, uh, peeling and uh, um, taking away the veins. veins. The veins. Yes. My mom, the same thing. Now you're going to cube the carrots. Yes. The del sedano. The same with the celery. And this is only the tender the parts tender, yes. of, of the celery. Yes. And cube them both along with half an onion. Vanessa likes all the pieces chopped up small. Uh, for me, too um, uh, nice for um, to eat uh, something more smaller than too big. Okay. Now we start to cut the onion and, and then we start then we crying. Start crying, yes. <laughs> Because the onion is very strong. Usually when my granny cooked, I love to be, to stay with her and stand uh, near her, close to her. And I, was, I uh, told her a lot of uh, questions. And for the onions, I told always to her, why are you crying now? Uh, Why are you crying? Yeah. And what did she say? Yeah, because as she told me that um, that the onion uh, was uh, an ingredient uh, strong hmm. that make makes you cry. Cry, yes. In a pan, put some extra virgin olive oil and salt. Saute the onion, carrot, and celery mix, and let it simmer. Be sure to often check on the celery, carrot, and onion mix so it doesn't burn. The secret is uh, to um, see the color. The color has to be like a little bit yellow. And so you understand that the, the ingredients are ready. Uh, usually we use in Sicily only uh, garlic. But to do more sweet the sauce, we put a little bit onion. And here the sauce is called salsa. Salsa. So now we're going to scoop this in here. Yes. In a separate pan, put some more chopped onions and garlic okay. into olive oil. A nice garlic and onion flavor. Yeah. And doesn't touch the pan. The pan. When the onion and garlic have released their flavor into the oil, take them out. Okay, let's do it. This is where the blanched tomatoes come in. We're going to take the skin off. Yeah. Ooh, it's still a little hot. Peel them and cut them into small pieces. Throw them in the pan and cook them for a few minutes. Mix it up. Yeah, we mix it. Sweet and salty. Yes. Next, add salt. And Vanessa's grandmother also adds sugar. Now the fresh basil. I put uh, a lot because we, we like uh, very much uh, the, the flavor of basil. Okay? Continue to stir and press on the tomatoes until all the ingredients are melded together, about 15 to 20 minutes. While everything is still cooking, we're going to cut up the eggplants and the peppers. The peppers, yes. Cube them. Cube, little cube. Okay. Cut, cut, cut. Put them in a bowl and do the same with the eggplants. In two separate pans, add extra virgin olive oil and a little salt and saute the peppers and eggplant. These will cook for about 20 minutes. Some people substitute the step by baking these items to reduce the use of oil. Mix the ingredients. So Carrots, celery, onion, and we put uh, melanzane. Now we put uh, the salsa. When everything is golden brown, mix them all together. The carrot, celery, and onion mix, eggplant, and tomato sauce, or as Sicilians call it, salsa. Next, in a glass, mix vinegar with three and a half tablespoons of sugar and add the raisins. Bring it to a slow boil and then quickly reduce the heat to allow the vinegar to evaporate. 
and then uh, we put uh, on all the ingredients when the vinegar is evaporated evaporated and um, we uh, wait that um, the vinegar uh, mix with all the ingredient and then uh, we have to taste if uh, the salt is enough mm. or there is uh, to uh, put again some sugar finoli Vanessa finishes it off with pine nuts other use capers or olives let it simmer for a few more minutes and basta. Smells. Mm. So now we spent about two hours <laughs> making okay. this. Ah, and it looks ooh. great. Okay, I have to try this. It's but it's really best to try it when it's a little bit cooler. Yeah. Mm. Sweet, sour, salty, perfect mix. Perfect. Mm. Perfect mix. Now, I know I would put this on my salad, but here in Sicily, it's a condiment, and how else can you eat it? This is uh, used to eat uh, with meat or um, uh, chicken, uh, and then you eat with bread. It's very sweet and sour, I can't decide. It's, it's really absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for taking the time and showing us your grandma's nonna's caponetta. Ciao, thanks for watching. See you next time. In a moment, in the wink of an eye, in a moment, as the world passes by, you can see a smile as it breaks and the magic that it makes. In a moment, just a casual glance changes slowly to the maddest romance, a new life, a new attitude. In a moment, said a no time at all You can win with your back to the wall With a card of the river Your aces Home run of the bases In a moment Though you're desperate and down In a moment It can all turn around It's a fact I've known to be true From the moment I saw you